Hey Seth, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very good. Uh, so your reputation is very well known in the scene, so I was very excited to have you on. So to start this interview, I just want to get to know you better, so I'm going to ask you a couple of icebreakers. Is that cool? Okay. So the first question, I want to know, what makes you so super? Uh, well, I used to play the Rainbow Six Series when it was like professional on Major League Gaming, which now does like COD, and my name was Remarkable. But when I moved to like PC, the characters didn't fit, so I just took my name from a song name, so it doesn't really have like deeper meaning. Wait, do you remember what song it was? Uh, it's a song called Super Main by Gucci Mane. It's interesting that, you know, a lot of people I feel like would be very pressured taking on so many roles. For you, do you enjoy all the roles and all the pressure? Uh, it never really bothered me. I will say, like, recently when a lot of, because uh, for the majority of Rainbow Six until, like, up until recently, most of the teams did not have, like, a lot of staff involved in, like, coaching, so I was kind of able to, you know, come up with strategies and stuff, but now with, like, all the analysts and, like, number crunching and stuff like that, I kind of decided I can't like it's too much work for me to play like I felt like my play especially the last pro league season I was in was not as well as I should be playing because I was doing so much outside of the game which meant I couldn't play as much as I wanted to tell us the story behind your slogan if super says it it's the truth to be honest that was like something our work kind of coined in like some video we made i think in general i don't really have a filter so good or bad i kind of just spew out the mouth what i think actually talk about this season i'm going to go into it a bit uh more in depth so speaking of the team sonic's had a couple of visa visa issues coming into the season um yep. how did that impact you know the team's performance early on and even like the mental behind it I mean, for Iconic and Easily, who are, like, newer to the team, I think it was, like, frustrating for them, but, like, and for Slevin and Gonfi, we've been teaming now for about a year, but we've only been able to play, you know, five or less matches together, because, you know, e even dating back to the last Pro League season we were in, we had Visa Triples then, so, uh, and, and honestly, it was, like, pretty demoralizing for us. Uh, all this practice and like know how like obviously scrims are scrims but to know how good we are in practice and i think how good the other teams know we are and then just like you know a week before the season just have to throw in two subs and just make that work and then for me personally you know i wanted to start off the season by doing well but in that first match i had against dark zero i had to fill in roles that like slevin and Gaffy played and uh, you know, I'm more of a support player, and I just didn't do well at all with that. So for me, it was also personally frustrating because I just felt like uh, that Dark Zero game was certainly one we could have won, and that, uh, you know, I just also personally didn't play well just because I'm kind of stuck in this position of trying to fill in roles. But, uh, you know, we got Gonfi back the last game, and he played really well, and I was able to transition back to more of the, like, hard breach support role. And I think we all played pretty well in that match, so hopefully it just continues on the upward trend there. Yeah, you guys are definitely picking it up. Um, I also want to talk about, you know, the team itself. In the past, you guys have been relegated before. So how good does it feel to be back in the Tier 1 scene? And do you still have kind of, you know, that thought of being regulated before and how that impacts how you guys play now? I mean, the relegation thing doesn't really matter to me. Technically, we never even played CL, so it's just like we just waited to play Pro League again. Also, you know, I don't think any of the pro teams that season would have considered us, like, the worst team or anything. I mean, that, again, we had visa issues. They only played two games uh, out of eight. So I think, obviously, if they, if Levin and Gaffey would have played that whole season, we wouldn't have even been in that position. Um, and then even even going deeper than that rogue that season we never lost to rogue but they finished higher us in the standings and they lost to tempo storm and then they got relegated i think everybody knows obviously our team would never lose to tempo storm so like i don't really think of it like it's it's more so for me just embarrassing to be relegated uh, because i know i'm better than that i know everybody on our team was but uh 
you know, I think it did eventually help us because from that we picked up easily and we picked up Iconic and made some roster changes and uh, I think we're just better off right now than we ever have been. All right, all right. All right, I gotta say bye now. Thank you so much for your time and good luck in your future matches, all right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> bye.